Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Welcome to the online class of English Grammar for Grade 8. Here is your teacher Mr. Snawla. How are you my dear students? I hope you all will be fine. We are going to do two exercises on page 77 of module 10. These two exercises are in module 10 of your English Grammar workbook. The first exercise belongs to past perfect tense. And what is the structure of a past perfect tense? My dear students, please be careful while you are understanding this lesson. These ingredients are items which I am going to name subject, helping verb had, past participle verb and an object, object. If all these items are present in any sentence then obviously you can call it a sentence of past perfect tense. Here are two examples. They had given us new books. Now this is a sentence of past perfect tense. The word they is a subject, had is a helping verb, given is the past participle verb, us new books, object. Another example, we had taken a new lesson. Now this sentence also belongs to past perfect tense because it meets all the requirements what are mentioned in the structural formula. This is a structural formula of an affirmative sentence of past perfect tense. If you want to have a negative expression, then you can use had not or hadn't. In case you need an interrogative expression, you must bring this helping verb had in the beginning. Then you will say had they given us, had we taken. Now we are going to do an exercise that is exercise 4 on page 77. Complete the sentence with the correct past perfect form of the words in the box. Here in this box you will find 10 verbs. You will take one of these 10 verbs to complete each sentence on page number 77, exercise 4. He asked why I hadn't finished the reports. And here the answer will be I hadn't finished the reports. Hadn't finished is the answer. Here you must make a negative expression according to the meaning of he asked why okay if you say he asked why I had finished the report then it makes no meaning number B there was no coffee because Mark had forgotten to buy any forgotten is the past participle verb of forget next number C Glenn knew he had made a lot of mistakes in his English exam. Glenn knew he had made a lot of mistakes in his English exam. D. I found about the car for sale but the owner had already sold it. I found about the car for sale but the owner had already sold it. And E. The children were very hungry because they hadn't had any breakfast. Hadn't is a helping verb. Had is the past participle of the action verb have. The children were very hungry because they hadn't had any breakfast. And the next one. I was certain I had left the keys on my desk but they weren't there. Had left will be the answer for question F. I had left. Left is the past participle of the verb leave. Next G. Diana was sure she had met Tony before. Met is the past participle of the verb meet. Diana was sure she had met Tony before. H. The children hadn't traveled by plane before so they were very excited. Hadn't traveled by plane before so they were very excited. The answer will be hadn't traveled. Or you can write had not traveled. Number I. Mrs. Dunn was angry because most of the students hadn't done their homework. Dunn is the past participle of the verb do. And the last one. United's manager resigned because the team hadn't won any matches that season. 
Now we are going to do the next exercise. You will complete the sentence with the best form of the verbs in brackets. In each sentence, one verb should be in the past perfect and the other are others in past simple. In case there are two expressions of past time, then one expression will be expressed or will have the sentence of past perfect while the other will be written in simple past tense. Now you can see in example one, we had reached home before the rain started. I have written we had reached in past perfect while the next part before the rain started is written in simple past. In other words, you can say there cannot be two had in one sentence of past perfect. Number two example, they had sung songs before we arrived. My dear students, if I say they had sung songs before we had arrived, then it will be wrong. By that time, there will be two had in one sentence, so it will not be correct according to the formula. Now we are going to do our exercise. Question A. As soon as the film started, Beth realized she had seen it before. As soon as the film started, Beth realized she had seen it before. B. I was surprised to find that Mr. Colley had left the day before. I was surprised to find that Mr. Colley had left the day before. Number C. Helen felt much better after she had had a good sleep. Helen felt much better after she had had a good sleep. Number D. The rain had stopped by the time we got to the beach. The rain had stopped by the time we got to the beach. Number E. Melissa was angry because her brother had eaten all the chocolates. Melissa was angry because her brother had eaten all the chocolates. F. When Julia married Scott, she didn't realize he had been married before. Now here are three blanks. The first blank will have the answer married as it is written here. No change. Okay. That is simple past. When Julia married. Scott, she didn't realize. My dear students, when you are going to make a negative expression in past indefinite tense or simple past tense, you will use didn't as a helping verb. And then there will be simple verb, not past verb. You cannot say didn't realized. That will be wrong. Okay. When Julia married Scott, she didn't realize he had been married. Now, he had been married is the passive voice of past perfect tense. I will repeat. When Julia married Scott, she didn't realize he had been married before. Number G. Jeff hadn't seen his parents for 15 years, so he felt rather nervous at the airport. Jeff hadn't seen his parents for 15 years, so he felt rather nervous at the airport. And the next one, the jazz singer sang an old blues song that I had never heard before. The jazz singer sang an old blues song that I had never heard before. And the second last, when I had written the letter, I posted it straight away. When I had written the letter, I posted it straight away. And the last one. After Sarah had known Ellen for a few weeks, he asked her out to dinner. After Sarah had known Ellen for a few weeks, he asked her out to dinner. That's how we have done our two exercises. So you will revise the exercise of past perfect tense. That's your homework. Thank you very much for attending the online class. See you next time with a new lesson. Till then, bye-bye.